Hello, zany friends, and welcome to another episode of Lego Fridays. If you can tell by my shirt, um, and also my book bow, then you know what time it is. I know I wasn't going to do this video until September, but I got this set in the mail and I had to do it. It's here. I'm ready. And of course we will be watching Hocus Pocus, maybe Hocus Pocus 2 and maybe the Hocus Pocus Halloween Bash. Just depends on how long it takes us to get through this. Ouchie wawa. According to the book, which is huge, there are 15 bags. So let's see how long this takes us. So I basically organized all of my bags into sets of five. So we'll try to do the first five bags now and work from there. And um, as you know, with my Lego builds, I do use these drawer organizers to put the pieces in to make it easier for me to find them later. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's get into it, I'm ready. Bag one. All right, so for bag one, we have the front part of the house which goes together like this. Some really cute details is it does have this closed sign right here, the Sanderson logo here, and over in the graveyard, it has a uh, Billy Butcherson's grave here along with two others. And these also do close, so you can change that if you want. We have a little Thackeray Binks here and on the back side, There's a barrel. Not really sure what that's gonna be used for yet, but I guess we'll see. Love the details on this. Yes, the gate does open. Now we're gonna go to bag two. Bag two, I am 40 minutes through the first movie. In bag two, we have a cute little Winnie Sanders. And the bottom part of the house, there's also this spot right here that has lights like a little fire, which is also cute. I like it so far. I'm getting a little tired though, not gonna lie. Bag three. I am one hour through the movie. At the end of bag three, we have now the walls that are up here like this, and it has a spinning wheel that will be some kind of mechanism that's happening. <laughs> I don't know. Lots of ambiance. I like this. I am an hour and a half into the movie. It's almost over. And we are now at bag four. As we're starting on bag four, it's time for a Hocus Pocus two. I am now 20 minutes of the way through Hocus Pocus two. And through bag four, we have some really cute details. We have a little cash register right here. Um, we actually have like a little drawer as well that comes out of here. That comes out of there. We've got back there some um, potions and things, some stairs and a stove. So far, really, really cute details. And now for bag five. I also forgot to show you this, a little Sarah Sanderson. How cute is that? I love her little potion. Now that we are done with bag five, I think I'm going to take a break, but let me show you what I have so far. We have Mary. And in the house itself, we have a cauldron so that when you, of course, press the button again, it goes in the fire. There is a little place right here that book resides. There it goes. We have some more walls. And I didn't show you this before, but here's the outside with a little lantern. And that is where we are at bag five. We are a third of the way done. And I am taking a break until tomorrow. And I will see you then. It is now day two. I have fully rested. 
I was feeling kind of bad yesterday, uh, so I had to stop. We are now going to see how far we can get today. And as a reminder, I am about an hour through Hocus Pocus 2, and we are now on bag six. Also, I have changed my outfit, obviously, because it's day two. I am wearing my Hocus Pocus dress from Ambery that they no longer make anymore, but I love it because it's so pick and comfortable. Let's build. So that didn't quite take me as long as I thought it would for this bag. It took me about 15 minutes. And what we have up now are the actual walls on the upper story. Not a lot of detail on this one, but uh, there are some really cute windows. So I am excited to see what we're gonna put up there. And now, bag seven. We have finished with bag seven and we are about 30 minutes till the end of the movie. This part actually has some really cool details. So let me take you inside so you can see what it is. On the top floor, we have this cute little skeleton and then the stickers that we put on and down at the bottom of this one column right here, there is a heart that says B plus Fred and then the Fred is crossed out and it has S. So I think that's a Billy plus Sarah thing. Um, and then we started having more of the wheel for the outside that is happening here. Uh, I can't get it to turn right now. Again, I think there's going to be more. Oh, I just, I just broke it. I'll fix it. Um, this, which I think is probably going to have something to do with the wheel. And then more stickers. We have their bed. And then over here, we have a vacuum cleaner and then a couple brooms. And then there's like a little bookcase way back there you can't see. And then this broom thing. I don't really know what that is yet. I might have to go back and watch the movie again to see what that is. But for now, bag eight. Finished with bag eight. I have also finished with Hocus Pocus 2. And we're about to start into bag nine. But let me show you what I'm going to do now. So we got the Hocus Pocus Halloween Bash. We'll try watching that one and see how long it takes. This one's only an hour and a half as well, so we'll see. So in this bag, we really only got these doors, which open up. And also we got the black flame candle. And then we do as well have some kind of like decoration around the outside. We got these side pieces done uh, to give it a little bit more rusticity. But that's all that was for this one. It was a fairly short bag. So on to bag nine. We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, I am about 24 minutes into the Hocus Pocus Halloween Bash, which it's kind of nice to have on in the background because it is one of those that you can just only halfway be listening to. So what we got done in this one is we have some plants that are on the outside of the doors and you zoom back. This, I thought it was going to be kind of a different mechanism. I thought something up here was going to make the wheel move, but it's really that you turn the wheel down here and the flames go up and down. And right here, we have a, kind of a bed frame, that bat, and um, this structural piece right there. That means time for bag 10. And this will bring us two thirds of the way through. I am 45 minutes through that. And this one was just basically about the roof. So we got these two edges on the top. We have some chains coming down there. And now we're on to bag 11. I also need to say that again, this was bag 10 out of 15. So we are now in the home stretch of the last third. And so far, it's taken me two hours for five bags. So we will see how fast this one can get done. I'm hoping I can do it today, but if not, I might have to finish it on another day. We will see. So bag 11 is a little bit tricky. Let me show you why. First, we've got some really cute skeletons hanging there and a cobweb. But basically this top part right up here on this side is supposed to open, but it gets caught on the chimney because of this top part that you put on later. Um, and then 
the actual spider ends up coming off. So I will have to see how this is actually supposed to open. Like you can see it, it catches right there. So you can see maybe after we do this part of it, is it going to be a different way of opening? I'm not exactly sure. But now we are at bag 12. We have finished bag 12, but I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to finish this today. Um, it is already almost three o'clock. I've been doing this since about 1145, 12 o'clock. So I've been doing this for almost three hours and I'm kind of tired. So I need um, maybe to finish it another evening, but this is what we got for this part. So in this part we have the rest of the roof and it does come down and open up like this. So that makes me think that the other part of the roof maybe isn't supposed to open that much. But that's what we got. We're currently on day three of this build. It's been a couple days since I've done this already because we had to prepare for the possible hurricane which didn't hit us, thank goodness. But I am quite tired because I just got off a full day of work and we have three bags to go. So, bag 13. So the end of bag 13, we have, and her name is blanking on me right now. We have her with her salt. And we also have the start of what I think is going to be the front porch of the house. It's really cute. It has this like Sanderson Sisters Witch Museum sign. So I'm interested to see what this is going to end up being as well. Um, just something to note is I have run out of things to watch that is Hocus Pocus. So I'm actually just listening to my audiobook because it's starting to be the end of the month and I need to finish it. So, bag 14. Bag 14 gives us a little Danny ready for trick or treat. I love the hat that's actually connected to her hair and the details of her sweater costume. So cute. Okay, so in this bag we made this that has a fireplace, that has a cauldron, and it looks like a bag. There's also a chair which has a really nice background detail. Over there, there's a little like container and a shelf with an hourglass on it. So that is bag 14. And we're down to the last, bag 15. We're finally done. Bag 15 brings you this guy. So cute. And then a little bit more about this. So we got our roof on here that opens up like this, which is fun. But quite honestly, once you attach it to the house, um, you can't open it anymore. <laughs> Let me bring you down so you can see everything about the house. And I actually have another light because it's kind of dark inside. And I had kind of been wondering, why don't you ever see insides of the house when you can look up images for this set? And now I know it's because it's super dark inside. <laughs> I mean, it's super dark. So let's go inside and see what it looks like. So just for the sake of everything, I put the three kids in front of the graveyard and I put them over here just so that they're all together. Let's check out the house. So you can see that extra addition is right here and the porch there. You can open the door and you can open this all right so there's what you can see on the inside i like i showed you all of that before again it's just super dark and i think it's very sad because it hides all the really amazing details that are inside of it you can also open the doors like this and as you can see my thing fell over hold on so I tried to put my light up on the top there, but uh, ugh, everything's falling over. And this is something that is kind of annoying about this is that uh, it, it's really hard to get your hands on there if anything falls over. I need to pick up the black fin candle, it's on the floor. So again, there it is. So my final thoughts on this set are, 
I really love the details that went into this. Um, and I really need to get a light set so that we can illuminate the inside and actually see what's happening. But other than that, um, I, I had fun building it. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's another set you think I should build in the months of September and October, because I'm trying to put together a poll of potential sets. Um, I can also put together my Stranger Things set again, which will probably take me two different videos because uh, it's really two different sets. I can do my friend set. I have an office set that I can just take down and rebuild. So let me know. And I hope you had a lot of fun building this with me. And until next time, stay zany.